Hi everybody, Patrick here from EscapeRoomElectronics.com and EngineeringShock.com. Uh, last week I uploaded a video uh, with a wireless linear actuator controller where I had a, a 42 digit, digit uh, keypad on the transmitter side and uh, I had audio and I, in the other room I had the linear actuator and the receiver board. So I was sending it wirelessly from one area of the house to the other uh, based on entering a combination for, and the idea was behind was essentially uh, to have a, uh, a hidden compartment or hidden door uh, for uh, a man cave or a wine cellar. In any case, this one is a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to put these up at escaperoomelectronics.com under their own tab. Uh, if you want to check out the other video, it's really interesting. Just check out the last few videos on my channel. Uh, in any case, what i got here is a fingerprint scanner. And I'm not gonna, I'll show you how it works after I give you a demonstration. So, but quickly, linear actuator, power supply for linear actuator, linear actuator controller board, fingerprint scanner, fingerprint scanner controller board, LCD, audio board, and uh, essentially uh, my inspiration from number five from uh, Short Circuit. Uh, I've, I've essentially Frankensteined a bunch of my circuitry together, made some mods to the software. In any case, Authorization granted. Greetings, Mr. Mitchell. Security compartment opening. Okay, so now the linear actuator is opening. Uh, I, I've programmed in uh, two fingers here, uh, and I've programmed in two different audio bytes for accepting uh, Mr. Mitchell, myself, and Mrs. Mitchell, my wife. However, Mrs. Mitchell <laughs> is my middle finger, and if I place my middle finger on there, um, I love my wife, don't take it any different way. <laughs> she certainly did. Uh, if I used my middle finger, it would have said Mrs. Mitchell versus Mr. Mitchell. Now, when this is fully extended, what I do is I just press any button on the uh, keypad to pull it back in. Security compartment closing. Have a good day. Now, the, uh, the LED board, it's just kind of a fun, neat extra. Um, based on the level of audio, it obviously it looks like it's speaking. Uh, I'm a huge Short Circuit fan, have been ever since I was a kid. In fact, Short Circuit probably got me into electronics. Uh, love that movie, love, love the sequel. Um, uh, during power-up, you can actually use this, key, this uh, key fob to either pull the plunger in or push it all the way out. Say there's a power outage and it gets stuck halfway. Not likely, but on power-up you can use that. I'll give you a demonstration on how this all works, how to program in your own uh, fingerprints in just a second. Uh, but at this point, I'll just I'll show you what happens after it's pulled in. I'll I'll uh, pretend I'm my wife. Uh, I'll pretend that I, my wife has programmed in her pointer finger. Uh, I'm simulating her, obviously. Authorization granted. Greetings, Mrs. Mitchell. Security compartment opening. Now, as you can see, there's an LCD here. Um, the LCD. Uh, remains uh, dormant when you're in scanning mode until it re receives a uh, until it receives a uh, a recognized fingerprint. And um, so right now, this is now entering scanning mode. Uh, I'm going to stop the video now. I'm going to pull this back in just by pressing a button when it's done, and uh, and then I'll I'll show you how to program in your own fingerprints. It's very easy. Um, it would come to you obviously mounted on a. Uh, excuse me, on a piece of plexiglass that you could mount to uh, an internal panel as you'd like, uh, however you see fit. So let me stop the video, uh, I'll pull this back in, and I'll show you how I programmed in my fingerprint from scratch. The first step to programming in your own fingertips, uh, uh, it's easy, you have to set the jumper, the middle jumper to the left, bottom jumper to the right, and now we're going to power up. Hopefully you can see the L L LCD okay, I'm going to power it up, and the LCD is going to say, uh, select mode of operation. So in this case what I need to do is now that I'm getting ready to program I have to press 7777 and then that LED will light up and it will turn off. Now I have to enter in my own custom code uh, into the uh, keypad that will be saved by EEPROM memory. It'll be saved after power off so for the sake of simplicity let's just do 1, 2, 3, 4. Once you've done that power off, the LC will still say select mode of operation. I'm just going to power off. I'm going to power back up again. I'm not going to change the jumpers. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say select mode of operation. I'm going to enter in one, two, three, four. And the, uh, the LCD will say now entering program mode. And what you can't see is the, uh, the fingerprint scanner lit up. 
Now, it's going to be a little bit tough for you to see the LCD while I'm programming in my uh, fingerprint because it takes a few steps. Uh, I'm gonna, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you what I'm doing while I'm looking at while the camera is looking at the LCD screen. Um, so, in order to choose which I'm, right now I'm only using two slots. I can use up to 20 with this board, but I'm just going to use two slots. So I'm going to touch the fingerprint scanner with my hand. I'm going to put my finger. I'm going to hold it, and it's going to say what slot do you want to uh, program. And I'm going to press it and hold it uh, until it says two. Slot 2, which is right currently allocated to my wife, Mrs. Mitchell. Press scanner to save new print. I'm still holding it. Save data slot to slot 2 of 20. So I know that, that it kind of skipped there pretty fast. You probably didn't see it. Now it says hold your finger to the scanner. I'm hoping that I, I'm actually going to change. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this without interrupting the feed. I'm actually going to fingerprint my thumb upside down. Complete. Remove finger. Second scan, wait, press it again, it says hold your finger to the scanner. Complete, remove finger, final scan, hold your finger to the scanner, so I'm going to press it one more time. Complete. Uh, print data is saved. So currently, so now my pointer finger uh, is the first slot, uh, and my thumb upside down is the second slot. So if my thumb upside down will be uh, my wife. So if I wanted to reprogram my, 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 the first slot with my uh, pointer, I'm going to uh, press and hold, save to slot 1 of 20, hold your finger to the scanner, complete, remove your finger, second scan, I'll wait, hold your finger to the scanner, done, remove finger, final scan, and hold your finger to the scanner, complete. Print data saved. So now, again, uh, this is the first uh, the first slot. It'll say Mr. Mitchell, and my thumb upside down will be uh, my wife. So let's give that a test. Now what I need to do is I need to jump, change the jumper selections. I'm going to power off and change the jumper selections. Now both jumpers are to the right, shorting the middle and right pins. So I've powered up again, and uh, so now it says select mode of operation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to press my personal code, which is one, two, three, four. But now it's not going to enter me into program mode. It's going to enter me into scanning mode. So one, two, three, four. And the fingerprint scanner lights up. It says now entering scanning mode. So let's try my thumb upside down. Now let's see if it recognizes my wife. Authorization granted. Greetings, Mrs. Mitchell. Security compartment opening. So now I'll say I'll stop the video and I'll retest my pointer finger for ID slot one. Now that's back in. I will test my pointer finger again, and this will recognize Mr. Mitchell and myself. ID one. Authorization granted. Greetings, Mr. Mitchell. Security compartment opening. So the. Uh, my point, the point I'm trying to make with this video is that uh, while I will sell my, my, my own creative versions of this uh, through escaperoomelectronics.com, uh, it might take me a few days to list them, uh, my point is that I can create um, customized, fun, uh, and really pimped out secret compartment doors, linear actuators. Uh, I can use 60-kilogram uh, mag locks or 600-pound uh, mag locks. Uh, whatever you like, I can customize it. I can make uh, I can make you a very very. I can use speech recognition. I can use fingerprints. I can use uh, keypads. Uh, you name it. Uh, the 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 options aren't endless, but I can do a heck of a lot uh, with what I have because I've over the years I've accumulated and designed so many circuit boards that I can just about put together uh, anything you can dream of. So if if you're a house builder or you want to pimp out your uh, man cave or uh, make a, a safe somewhere, a, a hidden wall, uh, a hidden bookcase, uh, or even something in your, say, your wine cellar. Uh, give us a <laughs> give us a call. Contact us through our um, uh, our uh, contact page at either escaperoomelectronics.com or engineeringshock.com. In any case, if you've made it this far into the video, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a great day.